All right, okay, so 12 years and six months on in Azad Jammu and Kashmir, and we've got to this stage where either the neighboring country, which has for the past 70 years tried to totally dominate the public narrative here in its own favor, needs to recognize that um, the actual genuine public narrative here is actually in contrast or in conflict with its own narrative. And we've uh, comprehensively proved that through a public opinion survey which was carried out throughout the 32 subdivisions of the AJK and which included asking these questions from politicians as well as judges as well as bureaucrats all the way down to the day laborer. And um, when this report was uh, published and uh, it was highlighted as a news item in a local newspaper here in Ravala Court, it was immediately shut down and uh, almost a month on, I felt my, it's my obligation, my duty to come to Ravala Court to judge uh, the environment and find out what the people are thinking about this issue. And most people I found, irrespective of whatever opinion that they have about the future of uh, Jammu and Kashmir, people were on a consensus on this point that uh, freedom of expression should be upheld and um, closing down a newspaper for publishing facts is totally something which should not take place. So I'm beginning my 72 hour fast at this point on, it's about half past 11. This is Kacheri Chok in Ravla Court. And uh, let's see what the next three days, how they'll emerge, how the powers that be from our neighboring country will react uh, to this. And uh, as the uh, people can read in Urdu and English, if in these three days, this newspaper is not, um, the restrictions on it are not uh, lifted, then um, I will return to Ravala Court in about two weeks' time, and uh, I will carry out a hunger strike till death. And I'm very serious about this. I'm as serious as I've always been throughout these 12 years and six months. So I hope my message is loud and clear. Thank you very much.